me bring one of our viewers uh, to you, Peter. Barry has said, it isn't the police's job to be nice to people. Their job is to arrest criminals who would like to do harm to them. Well said, Barry. I couldn't agree more. But this report, which is unflinching, fearless and consequently brilliant, is the iceberg that the Metropolitan Police has crashed into this morning. And the Met Police is holed beneath the water. And I'm using these ship analogies because they're very apt. Because police officers who witness wrongdoing or hear about it and come forward to tell the truth about it mm. are often seen as rocking the boat. Mm. Well, now, those officers, in their droves, if they are the good officers, and we want to hear from them, mm. certainly the Anti-Corruption Command should be hearing from them in their droves, they've got to come forward, they've got to be braver cops than I ever was, because I didn't report the wrongdoing, so con consequently they've got to be better human beings than I was, but they've got to do it. And if they get enough hands on deck, they might just stop this ship from sinking. The trouble is, Peter, the great work done by the majority of your former colleagues in the police is now completely overlooked. People just think this force is not fit for purpose. Talk, it could be broken up. What on earth is going on in the elite diplomatic and protection unit where Wayne Cousins was operating, where David Carrick was operating? These men, is it, does it go to their head that they're protecting politicians and VIPs? Because that's where a lot of the abuse Casey has identified. For many, many years, I've been expressing my concerns, both when I was in the police and outside of it, about police officers who exercise their biceps more than their brains. <laughs> and that is, generally speaking, firearms officers for you. Right. You'll see them in the summer when they're photographed. They have their T-shirt at a particular height, just so you get a hint of bicep in the photograph. And clearly, with regards to the unit that Cousins and Carrick were on, which was a specialist firearms unit, that macho culture, mm. and I suppose that expression is not really... doesn't go anywhere near as far as it should do, that toxic, revolting, vile culture has festered. Here's the balance to get, though, isn't it? The police, and particularly those, those particular departments of the police, are going to attract a certain type of character. By necessity, they need to be the tough blokes, don't they, to do some of that job. How do you get it right, though, Peter? Is it about leadership to make sure that they aren't going too far? They need to be very fit, but they need to be tough here. Not there, necessarily. They need to be fit. When I contemplated whether I should become a firearms officer, which I was, I thought long and hard, over weeks, about whether I wanted to take somebody's life. Mm. And when I decided that if the bad guys were going to have guns, then I thought I'd have one, I then stepped forward and did the training. But this culture that has been allowed to fester and develop is clearly something that needs to be dismantled as a matter of absolute urgency. And, of course, the wrongdoing that this report highlights time and time again throughout the service in so many other aspects of police work, which is chronically failing the public. Children investigations, investigations into crimes committed against children, failing, mm -hmm. sexual offences, failing, rape investigations, failing. The public deserve better. Do you think there is also the there's a political problem here? Because you've got the Home Secretary on the one hand, you've got the Mayor of London on the one hand. We know when um, Sadiq Khan got rid of Cressida Dick, the mm. former Pre Metro and Police Commissioner, the, the Home Secretary at the time, pretty Patel, hardly knew anything about it. They're and not it, operating together for the best interests of the people who are served by the Met. Indeed, and it goes back further than that, because Boris Johnson got rid of Sir Ian Blair. You're right. And that was politics in policing. Yep. And Baroness Casey quite properly highlights in her report the fact that the Mayor's Office for Policing and Scotland Yard have not got the relationship they should have. So maybe there is now an opportunity for new faces, new personalities to come in there and mediate between the two and show them the polite, respectful, yet perhaps firm way that conversations could be had. Because when, when organisations in law enforcement fail because they are having infighting, there are only one band of people that benefit, mm. and that is the villains. Mm.